Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can set up Ableton Live to work with the Native Instruments Machine Hardware Controller. And when you installed the machine hardware, you probably also installed the Controller Editor software. If you go into the files for the Controller Editor on your computer, you'll see that there are a bunch of template support files. When you open up the template support files folder, you'll see that there are a bunch of different files. The ones that we're concerned with are in the Ableton Live 8 or Ableton Live 7 folder, and that is the machine underscore controller folder. What you're going to need to do is copy this folder, depending on which version of Ableton Live you're going to be using. Then you're going to want to go to the Applications folder. Here you're going to right click on the application version of Ableton Live 8 or 7, then click Show Package Contents. Then you're going to go to Contents, App Resources, MIDI remote scripts, and then you're going to paste in that file. You can see that I already have it here, so now we are all ready to load Ableton Live. Now that we have Ableton Live set up to work with the machine controller, we need to tell Ableton Live to use it as a MIDI controller. So first we're going to go into the preferences, then we're going to go to the control surface, and for one, we're going to click on the drop down, then select machine controller. Then on input, we're going to select our machine controller, and also for the output, we'll select machine controller. Then we're going to put track on and remote on for the input of the machine controller. And now we need to actually look at the controller itself. When you plug in the machine hardware, but you don't have the machine program running, you'll see that there is the logo displayed on one display, and then on the other display, it says Start Machine Software, or press Shift plus Control for MIDI. So what we're going to do is put this into MIDI mode. So we're going to press Shift, then press the Control button. Next, we're going to hold Shift, and then we are going to press the arrow keys until we get to the Ableton Live template. This template has a lot of different functions that are pre-mapped. So, for example, you can do things like adjust the volume, you can also mute a track, you can go through these different pages and adjust things like pan, or send return. You can also launch clips with the pads and move around the individual clips by using these four buttons here. So now that you have Ableton Live set up to work with the machine hardware, go ahead and play around with it and see if you like it. And don't forget that if you don't like this particular template, you can always use the controller editor and Ableton Live to create your own custom MIDI templates.